Okay, behind me is the cathedral here in Duluth, Minnesota, where Mass is about to start in uh, half an hour or so. And while I have time, I'm going to make my little video and I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to walk across the street so you can see the beautiful lake. You will also see the, uh, maybe I can, it did work, it worked. Okay, I'm crossing the street. I don't want to get hit. Okay, this is the um, church, the parish school for the cathedral here in Duluth. And the view out the back window, believe it or not, is of the lake. So my friend Sean Daly, who um, lived in Duluth and went to grade school here, I said, Sean, how did you get anything done when you're sitting in class as a grade schooler and you look out and you see this incredible view of Lake Superior. So I'm getting up here and then I'll talk about the reading today. The one I want to talk about in particular is Acts, which is just a short couple of verses, okay? Look at this. So here's the school, there's the playground and the soccer field, and there's the lake. How could you learn anything under those conditions? Looking out the window. So, um, Paul is persecuting the church. Remember, Saul is eventually known as Paul. And here in Acts, we're reading about how he begins to persecute the church. Paul says later that uh, he consented to the death of many, throwing them into prison. And eventually, Jesus says to Paul, why are you persecuting me? Okay? But here's the deal. Paul was zealous. For the church. He was a Pharisee. He believed that the Christian thing was an affront to God. He did not understand that Jesus was God. He didn't get it. But he did a lot of damage. Today, in listening to the uh, audiobook about Osama bin Laden and his attacks on 9-11 on America, he gave a, uh, an outline of what the hijackers were to expect. He didn't mention politics. He didn't mention any th reason why he was doing this. All he did was promise them paradise because of their martyrdom. The 72 virgins in heaven that uh, Muslims believe will await them, particularly if, the, particularly if they die as martyrs. Osama bin Laden was religious, but he was religious in the wrong way. St. Paul, when he was still Saul of Tarsus, was religious, but he was religious in all the wrong ways. He, and that's what I want you guys to think about. How could one of the greatest apostles ever, St. Paul, whose um, epistles are filled with the Holy Spirit, who was one of the great early voices and evangelists in the church spreading the gospel, how could Paul have been so wrong as to kill Christians before his conversion. What was it about Paul's religious fervor and religiosity that was wrong and that got in the way? Think about that, answer that question, ponder that. Ponder as well that Jesus calls us friends. We're friends of God, but of course, to be friends, we have to be trying to do his will at least so that's my little video today i gotta go back inside the cathedral over here we are there's the cathedral gonna be back inside the cathedral you cannot see the lake from inside the cathedral so your mind can't wander